first base, the position, though, was the number one takeaway from this presser that introduced a right fielder. And Sandy was asked several times about Dom Smith, didn't come close to committing to him as the starter. Andy, what do you think that means? I think counterintuitively, Doug, it means what the Mets have done over the last week or two is commit to Dom Smith long term. They've shown, <laughs> no, I mean it, they've shown that they believe in Dom Smith. And I know people are going, what do you mean? They signed every other first baseman or guys who could play first base. But uh, what Adrian Gonzalez tells me is that they need a stopgap for Smith, who's 22 years old, I believe, to make sure that he's ready. They give him a little more time at AAA. Jay Bruce gives you another backup plan at first, although they're planning on using him, of course, in right field. But what the Mets are doing at first by not trading Dom Smith keeping him but putting some veterans above him in that position is that they're giving him short-term time to develop to be what they hope is their long-term answer at first base. What do you think about that? Moose? Yeah, I, I find that a little puzzling. I really do because either he's ready or he's not. I mean, so you're looking well, at your, well, I mean, well, we saw last year he got <laughs> called up. I mean, and he wasn't he, ready. Well, but he had an experience at major league level. Are you going to grow from it? I mean, it was the, during the course of the offseason. He talked about being in better shape this year so hopefully than he was a year from. ago. Right. And you look at Adrian Gonzalez was brought aboard. What would lead me to believe that Adrian Gonzalez at 36 years of age is going to prove to be the answer for the Mets in 2018? I have a hard time envisioning that when he was not been a good clubhouse guy his entire career. The Dodgers sent him away. The Red Sox couldn't get wait to get rid of him. Remember Boston when they brought him aboard? He said, oh, I was a mistake to leave California and come to the East Coast. Now you look at a guy after a lost season last year who nobody else in Major League Baseball wanted, but that's going to be the guy that's going to provide motivation conceivably or be that bridge guy to Dom Smith in 2018. 2019. Why can't Dom Smith be the answer in 2018? Because he's not good yet at the major league level. Well, he had one and, and, stretch. And that's what oh, that's all Adrian Gonzalez is here for. You didn't sign him to a seven-year deal. And I agree with you about some of the red flags that come with Adrian Gonzalez. You're talking about 1-1 one, one overall talent. First round, first overall pick that's in his sixth different organization. That doesn't that's happen. a problem. That is a problem. But he's not here to be the cornerstone. He's here. I mean, would it, would it shock anybody if he's the opening day first baseman, but not the first baseman on, say, August 1st? I think that's the real plan here right. is that if if you want to get Dom Smith ready, you're not tied into anybody. It doesn't cost you anything, doesn't hurt you at all to cut bait with Adrian Gonzalez when Dom Smith is ready. If you believe in Dom Smith, as I believe the Mets do, or at least they're hoping that they can still believe in Dom Smith, you don't bring in a long-term first baseman. Right. You certainly don't bring in an Eric Hosmer. I mean, look, I'm trying to get to the logic here. I'd, I'd rather have Eric Hosmer on the team than Don Smith if I'm a Mets fan, but I'm just saying same, they want Smith. So Same situation last year on the other side. I know there was some injury concerns involved, but Chris Carter came in for the Yankees with Greg Bird as the guy. You want to say this is a first baseman of the future. There was an injury situation, but Chris Carter didn't see what – I don't remember when he was cut, but he was not around for the second half of the season. Was when that Bird after was one of those multiple infield. arrogance? <laughs> Did, did George already like trouble playing Chris Carter? No, he did not. I'll answer that for Sweeney. He did not. But here's the what about the what about the attitude for Gonzalez, right? You're yeah. coming off. What about you? You look at a guy that's been a clubhouse lawyer his entire career. Now you're looking for him to be the on his best behavior, coming off a disastrous year, new manager, trying to change the vibe in that clubhouse. And I'm bringing in a hey, guy look. that the Dodgers basically said, "Get out of here. We don't want you around the team." Moose, I'm a jerk, and this show is good, so <laughs> things can be overcome. <laughs> that's uh, not answering the question. Question. Nice diversionary tactic. Um, Sweeney, my one question would be, we're talking about a 22-year-old, as Andy mentioned, a very young guy. A lot of times on the surface, it looks bad when a prospect gets called up and everyone thinks this is Dom Smith's turn. He's the first baseman now for the New York Mets, and then he goes back. That looks like a demotion. It is technically. Yeah. But isn't it not always a big deal for that to happen? Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays both got sent back to the minor leagues after they came up. Okay, this happens. Not everybody goes on this career arc that starts here and then just keeps going up and up and up. I'm not putting Dom Smith in the Hall of Fame, but... A little more time in the minor leagues wouldn't be the worst thing for him. And the Mets now have some options, whether it's Adrian Gonzalez, who doesn't have to finish out the year. Everyone's automatically thinking. Yeah. And by the way, Gonzalez, Jay Bruce, these are the types of teams that uh, players that teams who think they're going to be in the playoffs or at least contending for the playoffs. These are the types of guys they sign. These aren't bad deals, and especially the dollars that you're talking about with Adrian Gonzalez at a minimum. And Jay Bruce got a very good deal. Take a look at what Bruce got compared to what everybody else has gotten so far. I know it's a slow free agent market here, mm -hmm. and these deals are going to be eclipsed as the market keeps going. But 
There is, uh, if you tell me that Jay Bruce is the third biggest contract of the winter and we're in the middle of January, at $13 million a pop, I think this is a really good deal for the Mets. That, you, I think that's the best value of anyone up on that board. I mean, Better this than is Santana, a, who is a PH agree. coming to a Yeah, next. I'd rather have Bruce yeah. than Santana, maybe, yes. period, but certainly at the difference in price. Yeah. And I find I find fascinating the, the whole first base discussion, because if you listen to Jay Bruce tell Gary Apple, basically three guys have to get hit by a bus right. before he plays. And Wilmer right. Flores, yeah. too, by the way, who, who they prefer defensively at first. First and then any other position. Well, he's willing to do it in an emergency situation. In a pinch. By the way, yeah. Let's just be clear that Jay Bruce is not yeah, overly right. thrilled. Right. Not overly no. enthusiastic yeah, about playing no, first no, base. If it's no. the 34th <laughs> inning. I'll be prepared. By the way, it's, it's also very possible that Adrian Gonzalez, even being the clubhouse lawyer he's rumored to be, is there not only to mentor Dom Smith, but also this whole day. What we heard from Sandy Alderson was to motivate him. You know, if he's the fourth name out of Sandy Alderson's mouth talking about first baseman, he's at home thinking, all right, I'll get back on the treadmill. They're, I'll start working out more. And they're I'll get both to there it. to motivate each other, I think. I mean, mm -hmm. Adrian yeah. Gonzalez has this prospect breathing down his neck, who, as Andy, I think, correctly points out that this is who the organization is invested in. If this guy has a big spring, big early part of the season, Adrian Gonzalez is looking over his shoulder. Conversely, Dom Smith knows he has to come out and play. He hasn't been given anything. Well, I'll get, uh, let me ask you this, Andy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the idea that they love Dom Smith, they have an interesting way of showing it right is it a psychological game to where they yeah. feel that they need to motivate Dom Smith is that why they show him the tough love they show him? the second I knew Moose that they weren't going to trade Dom Smith was when I was standing next to Alderson at the GM in November go. and he said he's not in great shape and it's like you don't trade a guy once you say he's yeah. not in great shape you're trying to motivate him from within yeah. very interesting